Not all crimes get solved like this. 911. Yes, I need a police and ambulance. My husband's been shot. Who shot him, ma'am? I did. It can take hours, days, to get someone talking. You admitted to killing him? No. Yeah. I admitted that it was an accident, a mistake. I think his neck broke. Okay. And from there, it can go dozens of directions. And I looked up and he was dead. Really upset me because he could have been my boyfriend. They're talking about you. I'm talking about putting a 16 year old boy in a dumpster. There's an art to the interrogation, a practiced approach that can get someone talking to confess to the worst thing they've ever done, or it can backfire. What? This is a kid who you knew that you said were friends, who stayed overnight in your house and no reaction to him being found dead, dismembered, and dumped behind a dumpster. Wow. So, what do the experts know? that we don't know. There's two things juries love the most, eyewitness testimony and a confession. We're gonna sit inside those rooms across the table from those suspects, and we're gonna find out how to turn lies into truth. I know I know you wanna tell us. I, I, can, I can see it in your face. Anything you say, available now, wherever you listen to podcasts. It was Christopher's idea to bury your son in the backyard? It was my idea.